Hey everyone and welcome to Teaching with Sierra. Today I'm going to show you guys into my little bucket of uh, manipulatives and things that you guys can do literacy wise and math wise with kids that are um, in kindergarten and first grade as well as pre-k. So first here I have some letter sound cards where the kids could easily go through the cards um, and just like sort them out. They could easily sort these out and they can try to match the um, mouth so for T they would go T and then they would do mmm D and they're going to yeah and so these are some really great cards I found these on teachers pay teachers and they were completely free all right so next I have the um, game these little containers here came in a whole pack. I got them at Walmart for a total of four, uh, 14 bucks, but basically it comes in a photo case. So, with this game, this is called Spin a Tin Frame, where the um, you would need to get something in order to be the tin frame, and um, it comes with instructions. The, like I said, these games were completely free. Your student can spin the spinner and write the card number that they spin on. Um, if you don't have spinners, you can just use pencil and paper to spin. They can also use Play-Doh and other manipulatives to show the number on the tin frame. So I had put in here um, these little um, red and yellow counters where they could put them on each dot. Um, and I also stuck in here another game where it is adding um, to make a five where the teachers um, can use play-doh and other small manipulatives to complete the fi uh, five frame and make a five and they can just either write the numbers so you can um, use play-doh and this is how it's going to look i can make five and write the number i added so um, you can easily make these with canva as well if you have a free account um, you can use the ones that are available. If not, you can always pay $12.99 a month and um, use the extra benefits added on. So to make a five, they would need to figure out how to make five and they could put um, one of these pieces right here and just say, okay, four plus one equals five. And so it's a little bit of cards, but like I said, a really great game to keep going. So these right here are some cards that I ended up finding on Teachers Pay Teachers as well. And um, with the way that these work is there is a there is a card um, in the stack that has the upper and lowercase letters, but it also has the uppercase letters. And then there's also ones that have the lowercase letters. So there's a stack of each. So there is um, 26 cards of each um, kind in the stack and so you can have them put them in alphabetical order a through z using the uppercase and lowercase or you can do it using the uppercase or the lowercase you also can like call out a letter and they can hand it to you um you know using like capitals and then lowercase so that'd be really great so we have some pattern block puzzles these were given to um, me when my daughter was virtual for kindergarten. Um, so it came together like this where they could easily use these manipulatives right here that are already given to them in order to like make something. So, so this would be like a printable that the school can give you or you guys, you know, can um, probably Google these. Pattern block puzzles are really great. Um, so what you could do is take these out and put them on and then the kiddos could count, okay, how many hexagons, how many trapezoids, how many rhombuses, um, how many squares, how many triangles, and then the total. So you could um, easily, you know, find a way to get these laminated. These would be great to use over and over. So some really great manipulatives to have at home as well are um, like dice so that you guys can do games with the dice you could easily take one of the dice and play a game called roll and record which is um 
um, a math game that um, some schools, if they have this lesson, will teach them. Um, the student is just to roll the dice, and it's of course it's going to be under 11. Um, and so um, they would end up, if they rolled a six, they're going to color in one box. If they end up rolling a three, they'll, you know, color in that box. And they'll just do it all the way until they get to the top. That way they start to build uh, more knowledge on what's what. Also, you have like some um, little square pieces. These are great for like um, making groups and stuff like that. And then you have like this dice right here that tells the actual number. So I've mentioned on my channel before that this was a really great... Um, game that I downloaded for free um, it was zero puzzle I mean 20 puzzles for the numbers 1 through 20 and so they come in a square um, just like this and you are to cut um, on the line and basically just cut them and you can stick them into black bags but the kids are to try and match Okay, this is the number one. This is how you spell number one. This is how many dots it is for number one and how many items for number one. So they are Mindful Math free number puzzle games that you can easily download. And I did laminate these uh, for my daughter to use. So this is a really great math man manipulative where you have these um, bl blocks that you can stack. Uh, these are called uh, Unifix cubes where you guys can easily just um, put them together just like this. And you make a stack. So the, you can easily use this with, um, you can use it with dice to where you roll and whatever number you get, they can make the stack of six using these. But in this case, being that it is with these, these are little cards where you would build a giraffe. And so the kids would have to, like, they could put the um, Unifix cubes on top of here and just build. Also, down in my box, I have, like, some sight words where um, this is just, it's on a ring. You can add any sight words you want. These were completely free as well, off of Teachers Pay Teachers. Um, and so I just laminated all of these together and then I hole punched them and put them onto the ring. Basically, it is just sight words and you could easily like pull the child to the side and kind of like go over these sight words weekly. Um, if you're ever like wanting to do spelling tests, you can easily show these as well um, and just go from there. It makes a really great um, thing to have especially if you ever want to like put these at their seats they could easily find sight words um, and they could you know try to build stories and stuff off of using these sight words all right and then in my bag I have or actually in my box I have some CVC words um, phone phone So in my bag, I have this DCVC words where you can easily have the child um, do some CVC sound boxes. Like the, the way to use these is like you say the word and you count the boxes to see like how many sounds are in the word. Then you can say each sound on its own and then you'll push up a chip as they say each sound. And then for the word cat, you would push it up and say you would say k -a -t, and then you'll push all three chips up and then you can use any tiny manipulative that you would like. Um, you can use pennies, unifix cubes, blocks, and other things like that. And then you can also um, use like a magnetic bingo wand and things like that. All right, so with the words that are included, it'll be cat, can, jam, mat, web, bed, hen, bin, pig, kit, dog, top, pop, uh, pot, I'm sorry, sub, bus, and sun. Um, so you can start the year off using these. Um, basically what I like to do is have the big... Um, the big printout print it and laminate it that way they can place the card that goes with it I also like for them to be able to place it and then tap it that way they're tapping out k -at, and they can put it together and then they will build the word using like little um, magnetic um, pieces or they can use like letters 
um, that are cut out or anything. They can draw a picture of it and then they can write the actual word themselves. So with the next one, it's just like a rhyming mat where you have some um, pictures here of things that rhyme with certain things. So they will find in this bag that's attached three pictures that are going to rhyme with cat. Um, that's going to rhyme with bee, ball, ring, snail, and star. And so they'll just place them on the mats and they can easily just take them off when they're going to the next mat. And I also have like some um, rhyming books, not just like a rhyming mat, but I also have a rhyming um, little index box here. I got this from the dollar store. And inside of this box, there are different um, rhyming things where this is the IP word family book where you flip it open and you'll see the words so sip um, and these ones you do have to write the words in yourself or you could easily put this in a center and have the kids write it um, so that they can learn some new words along with rhymes so you have like the ip family the at family the it family a p e n um, e d other ones such as I G U M A N U N U G O T um, O P and E T. So yeah, got those great little rhyming books. So I also have like a couple different things in this um, Ziploc bag where this is called Mitten Edition. So the kids would end up pulling out card number one and they will um, solve the math edition problem using the snowballs. The snowballs um, I have not cut out, but I will show you what they look like. They're right here. So the kids would easily do one snowball and then add eight and then they'll add them all together and go from there. Deep down in the box, well, I have also printed off um, along with the other ones. This is a way to build CVC words. So um, it's just like the target is to build um, letter sounds with each word. And then the instructions are just to practice sounding out and writing the CVC words. And they can use magnetic letters or manipulatives to build each word. So the kid would take the little cards. These are laminated um, and they can like tap it out, sound it out at or p ig and they could easily use a dry erase marker and um, write it on here they can also use like i said the um, magnetic letters or um, other things to put onto the cards and so there's quite a few of those um, like i said when you buy these little games and print them off and stuff like that and they're this small they make really great um, centers especially like for maybe morning work or if you're doing literacy time and stuff like that prime example of the manipulatives is things like this where we have the red and yellow ch um, pieces again and then we have like some math cards where it has the number on them and it has the like amount of the object um, and then here are the magnetic letters that you guys can easily get from the dollar store um, for the kiddos to like put onto their boards. I also had some letters printed off. These are in um, uppercase and lowercase. This was part of the dot um, curriculum that I ran across that was free at the time where it comes with an uppercase and a lowercase some of them like literally all different colors um, but they make really great cards to do matching and stuff like that i also found this at target um actually i'm sorry michael's one day for a dollar and i decided to buy it just so that my daughter could practice at home but i end up taking it into the classroom um, the kiddos can use a dry erase marker to practice writing these letters. They have this area over here to write it or down here. Um, and they also can like practice writing the words on the bottom. It has like a different animal or a different thing on each one of them. And they're dry erase and it comes in this cute little bag. Um, like I said, for a dollar. 
And last but not least, down in my box, I have some books that were given to me from the school. So, um, these were my daughter's while she was virtual. These were just things in, like, her pickup bags each week. Um, one thing I can say is, like, if you ask the school for little printout books like this, they definitely can, especially if you're in um, kindergarten or first grade. Uh, these just make really great books that the kids can just learn to like tap out the words and then put the words together and say them. N at k an net can or they can do it by each individual word. Um, of course, as time went on and um, the grade level went up, we still kept the ones from first grade. Um, and this is also like kind of to also enhance reading. So these were just other ones that could be practiced over the summer and worked on. Um, they also were giving out like little smaller books. So definitely always ask your um, district if you guys can send, you know, like books home with the kids and um, like book bags where you send a book home and they return it and get a new one, you know. The next day or maybe do it like every friday keep that book and read it every night until the following monday so yeah those are the things that i have in my little knickknack um handy dandy clear container these things are really great manipulatives and things to have in the classroom as well as if you're a parent watching um because i am a parent and a teacher at the same time and these are really great things to have at home, especially when you're trying to get your kid to read and learn writing and learn the alphabet and um, math. 